Welcome or welcome back. Conrad Richardson here with another urbanism video from Seoul, South Korea. And today I'd like to show you a really impressive piece of urban and transport planning, engineering and design that goes by the name of Seolio. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but maybe we can ask someone and rectify that. Seolio? Yeah, Seolio. 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 And this place where I'm currently walking for 45 years was used for the movement of vehicles. But recently it was given a complete facelift. As you can see, it is now for the movement of people. And in this short video, I would like to walk you along the one kilometer stretch of the Sky Garden. And we'll talk about how this place came to be and what are some of the design features that were incorporated. And like always, let's begin by rewinding the clock and going back in time. So we begin in 1970 when this overpass was first constructed to help ease traffic congestion at what is a really critical junction in downtown Seoul next to the railway station. And so this overpass, it really served its purpose for 45 years. However, in 2006, it failed its annual safety test and no more vehicles were able to use it. But unlike Chonggiche on stream, and you can check out that video, it was not dismantled. On the contrary, it was given an 18 month long major facelift. And right now we're gonna go see what exactly they have done with this space. And so essentially what they've created is this one kilometer pedestrian walkway, which also serves as a sort of sky garden. It does somewhat resemble the New York High Line, but it's been done in its own distinctive Korean style. And it features 24,000 plants of which there are 228 different species. And each of the plant pots has a label. Supposedly, all the plants are arranged according to the Korean alphabet. And this was created in an attempt to make Seoul a more human-centered city and to make pedestrian accessibility a little better because it did become a very car-based city and they're trying to rectify that in very creative ways. And uh, they've done a really good job in my opinion. And the name? Solio 7017 derives from the word Solio, which means Seoul Street. The 70 refers to 1970 when the overpass was first constructed, and the 17 refers to 2017 when the facelift was complete. 17 is also quite a symbolic number because the overpass is supposedly 17 meters high, and there's also 17 different pedestrian access points which link to all sorts of different touristic sites. Okay, let's move on. As we continue making our way down the walkway, I'd like to point out some of the design features that were incorporated. They've really given thought to every little detail. I don't know if you can see back here, they've got this irrigation system that produces mist and reduces the ambient temperature because it does get really hot in Seoul. They also have water fountains. And if that's not enough, along the walkway, they've got these little cylindrical buildings which you can enter and they are air conditioned. It's really pleasant. And some of them are coffee shops. Some of them just have books. This one has prams. Not sure why. Maybe parents bring their kids without and they know that they're here for them so they can walk their kids. So really every little detail has been considered. Really, really impressed. And then we continue down and from here we can start to see the old central railway station which really goes to show how central this place really is. Now over on the other side we can see the massive intersection I was talking about earlier on. This huge space right here you could almost play a football game and there's all these different lanes. It looks terrifying to be honest. I can't help but think what this space would be like if this didn't exist. Because down there, it's only built for cars and it's really not a human environment. At the ground level, not many people were smiling at me as I walked past, but up here, people seem way more relaxed and happy to talk. And uh, these kind of spaces are really important for the well-being of citizens in a city. Ah, oh, he's showing me. 
<laughs> People are so much friendlier 17 meters up. This is a really nice vantage point. You can really see it here. It ends over there and it begins all the way over there and probably connects nicely to this big residential area. Okay, moving on and I'll try to point out a few more interesting design features because I keep finding myself amazed. Over here we have a pebble foot pool. Here we have some trampolines called Bang Bang Playground. Interesting choice of words. I can see there's also free Wi-Fi and they also have elevators linking to street level and an escalator right here. So it's accessible for anyone, whether you have an impairment, you're in a wheelchair or you're fully abled. While we're on the topic of design again, this space was designed by Vinnie Mass. He is a Dutch architect who won an international design competition in 2015. And then by 2017, they made this, his vision, a reality. And here we are. We're almost at the other end of the walkway and I think I might as well conclude the video here. And all I can really say is, wow, that was a really pleasant experience, a nice escape from the hustle and bustle at ground level. So really hats off to the Seoul city government for making this happen, to Vinnie Mass for helping to design such a beautiful space. And for me, it's really hard to fathom that before 2017, it was possible to have this relaxed walking experience in this particular location in this city. And you really see people are happier up here. They are walking slower. They are contemplating life. So I really hope this infrastructure, maybe even this video can help inspire cities to think a little differently on how antiquated infrastructure can be used or reused. New York has the High Line and Chicago the Bloomingdale Trail while Paris has the Promenade Planté and Rotterdam the Lurchsingel but none are quite as impressive as Solio 7017. I hope this was insightful and I hope you enjoyed experiencing this space as much as I did. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.